Hi everyone, this is Barry Schlesinger here in Sacramento, California. It's a beautiful day outside, mid 80s, which is very unusual for August 1st. So I have my windows open and the front door open and I'm just enjoying the, the beautiful weather. So um, I got back to my reading and I'm still reading Think and Grow Rich, which is an amazing book. and highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet but what i want to talk to you about today is how you respond to various things in your life and in think and grow rich it says respond positively to life develop a positive self-image your image your reaction to life and your decisions are completely within your control so I know it's hard when things don't necessarily go well, it's not that great of a day, or we, we have a conversation, maybe we need to get something straightened out and it just doesn't go well. And y you just, you know, nature is, you know, a human being's nature is that you get upset, you get angry, um, and those are really negative ways to respond and you know I, you know and, and i'm guilty of it too um you know if things aren't quite going right i just you know i'm on the phone and i get upset and my voice gets louder and before you know it i'm kind of screaming and i'm like you're not listening to me and you know i kind of you know i tend to want to go off when i get really really upset and you know, it's, it's great if you've got a really positive attitude, you know, a, a majority of the time, but how are you reacting when you've had, you know, a, a day or maybe even a couple weeks where you haven't made a sale? Are you starting to get down? Are you starting to get upset about it? Are you wondering if maybe things aren't going well because you have a couple people in, but then you hit a, a lull or, you know, and... And those are things you really kind of need to look at is how are you responding to them? And I know for me, I'm really working hard at just saying that's okay. That ha what happened today doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. Or if I'm on a call that's not going right, I'm not, you know, if I'm trying to accomplish something, if I'm calling about a bill, for instance, and it's not going right, that, you know, you, you generally want to get upset. And a really great example is... I, I needed to handle my new AT&T bill yesterday and I wanted to split the bill just because I, my money hasn't been freed up yet. And so when I get my money, I, you know, I want to be able to pay half of it now and half of it when my money's freed up. And I was new to AT&T because I had just gone back to them. And instead of really getting upset and, and frustrated with the woman, I stayed really calm, and when she said to me, well, you're new, so we don't generally do this, you know, I could have gotten really upset, and I could have said, you don't understand, I've got the money, I just don't have the money right this second, and blah, blah, and I, I could have really just, you know, gone off the deep end and gotten really upset and made my voice get louder, and instead, I decided I was going to take the more positive approach and stay really calm and keep believing that this is going to get worked out so that I can handle this in a in a comfortable manner and in the end you know at one point she came back to me and she said well let me get somebody else involved maybe they can do it that person couldn't do it either and i very calmly said is there anybody else maybe that you could talk to and she ended up coming back to me and said you know there is another person let me give it a try and in the end that person was able to take care of things for me and i got off and instead of feeling frustrated and angry when I got off because I'd let myself go into that negative area. Everything worked out. I never got upset. I never worried. And everything resolved the way I wanted it to be resolved. And so I think it really is crucial that you kind of stay in that positive realm as best as you can. And in that way, you know, that way you're not making a mountain out of a molehill and I'm sure you guys have heard that that cliche before that phrase because you don't want to take something that's really small 
and turn it into something huge when if you would have just remained positive, it would have never become that mountain. It would have stayed that small molehill and even flattened out by the end. Same thing with network marketing. Just because you maybe didn't make a sale today or you didn't get you know more than just a couple of leads today or, or whatever happened today that didn't go the way you had planned it to go doesn't mean it's going to do the same thing tomorrow so you've got to stay in that positive frame of mind at all times regardless of what's going on you just have to know that things are going to get better things are better than they were things you know tomorrow's a new day wake up the next day and say okay today I'm going to make a sale today. I'm going to get no less than 10 leads today and do what it takes. Just keep taking action. As long as you keep taking action, positive things are going to result. Just make sure you keep that positive mindset along with taking that action. And before you know it, things are going to start to flow. This is Barry Schlesinger, your motivational and success coach. Come find me on Facebook and let's connect and, and talk and you know, I'm always here to help and get you motivated, so um, get with me. Again, my name is Barry Schlesinger. I am your motivational and success coach. See you all at the top of the success ladder. Bye for now.